Go ahead, Tanya, all yours. Hello, everybody. My name is Tanya, and today I'm going to present my Harry Potter quiz, which I got my midterm project. For those of you who don't know, in Harry Potter, there's this magic school called Hogwarts, and in that, you're sorted into the Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, based on your personality. Quiz. I've tried to assess your personality to put you in one of the uh, houses. So you can just select the options by moving this black. Ordered in a way, it will only move to one of the circles. It won't go anywhere else. And I've done it so that every option is a different house. So if you choose the option your happy path if you choose the uh, third option you are a raven or if you choose most third option you are a raven for and so on uh, basically i just assess the y position of the button and according to that i added a common list called the sorting uh, one second yeah i assess, uh, i added to a list called sorting uh, i added to the respective house list and then after that, using a counter variable, I assess which house has the most, uh, the long, which house list is the longest. Uh, you can see here that first I've set sorting to item one of sorting, which means it will set it to the first length. Uh, it will set it to the length of the first house, and then slowly it will assess if everything is bigger than the previous one. Uh, this project was really fun to make. And it taught me a lot of concepts of counter variable and lists. Thank you. Uh, very nice, Tanya. This was a very interesting project, and you know, a bunch of things I would like to say. One that you have chosen to present the midterm project, which means that you did this all by your imagination and your work. Uh, you know, midterm projects are independent projects. You know, and fantastically done. Uh, number two, I think your concept is quite interesting. The way to sort people uh, based on their personality, and you said that you you sense their Y position of the mouse of that ball, right, to figure out what they have answered, and that goes into this list uh, sorting. Nice. Uh, Tanya, I saw that one, your when you put the circle on the your chosen block, it starts glowing. Is that is that also a type of feature you added? Oh uh, no, it's just if touching sprite forever change color, uh, if touching sprite change color effect. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so from my side, Tanya, the third very interesting point you brought up. Can you go to that previous quote, please? Sorting hat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this whole yeah. concept of a counter variable with a repeat loop, right? So I think that is a phenomenal concept because this basically, this exact thing is what is called a for loop in Python. And you know you will realize that because you have this clarity of this counter variable which is moving by its which is being incremented here, you'll find that something very similar exists in Python and extremely powerful. So I'm glad you brought this up and you used it here because this is going to go a long way for you, right? So well done. And I think one more thing I want to highlight, Tanya, is, is I know. Sir, that what did you say? This was in Python. It's like a for loop. So notice it's a repeat here, repeat three times, and this change number by one. So in Python, we do something similar. This number will keep incrementing. That's a counter variable, like we also used in the hangman, right? And yeah, there's we even use it in fruit uh, slasher, I think. Fruit slasher and hangman both. We use use this one. <clears throat> uh, I think one more thing, Tanya, I know you had a clash with some other class and a lot of projects you've done based on the class video. So that's something I also appreciate very much. Uh, you know, so keep it up and great one, right? Anybody has any uh, feedback for Tanya? No, sir, this is a very good project. Sure. Sir, so no. which which project was this? Is it like Finding Nor or something? No, so this she had done as a midterm project. Remember, we had this independent midterm project, right? Oh yeah. She submitted yes. there. Yeah. yeah. So where did you use my blocks? I didn't use my blocks. Uh, wait. I, so basically, this button was lagging a lot. Okay, uh, it wasn't moving properly. It was moving after a long time of my clicking. So to use this running with a screen refresh, so that it moves smoothly. That's where I used the vice, my blocks. Oh. Very nice. Vikya, do you want to uh, say something? Round, what does round, uh, set y to round mouse y divided by 40 multiplied by 40 means? That basically just ensures that the uh, mouse can only move in a distance of 40. Oh, okay. It cannot go anywhere in the middle. Yeah. 
Okay. So round is a mathematical function which will bring you to the nearest number. So like if mouse wise, let's say 50, right? So 50 by 40 is one point something. So round will make it one. Something like that. <clears throat> nice. Vikyat wants to say something, I think. He has raised his hand. Um, yeah. So the questions, does it, does each question you answer kind of differ which um, house you're in? Or is there one question that like differs which house you're in? question differs so uh, as you can see each uh, each house has a different sprite and the options are the costumes of the sprites right so basically every time the button touches you add it to a list and then you uh, figure out which one has the most which one has the button touch the most okay very nice anybody has any other comments or questions for tanya Okay, no problem. So Tanya, very good. Well done for everybody's benefit. This project is here and it's shared. So look at it. You know, it's a great project, I think. Uh, good one, Tanya. Keep up the practice. Uh, you know, like I said, you have shown a lot of, um, uh, say, discipline by looking at those videos, completing your projects in time and submitting. So a lot of people did not see you that much in the class because I knew you had a clash, but you had been on it. So that's perfectly fine. So keep up the good work, Tanya. Keep practicing. Ultimately, as I tell everybody, practice is the way forward for each one of you. The more you practice, the more exciting it gets for you and the better all of us become. Sir, right. uh, mm -hmm. I have one thing to say. Yes, I go ahead. I was, was waiting for Sir, you. Sir, I want yeah. to play this game. So like, what's your username? So you could look at this project, Sai. It's uh, 6862 something, whatever. It'll be I can there. Send link yeah, you can send the link in the chat also, Tanya. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Tanya, so well done. Keep it Achha. up. Was still flower one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Take care, Tanya. Uh, wish you all the best and keep programming. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thanks so much.